You kids out there probably wouldn't remember this, but a long time ago there was this movie called Sharky's Machine starring this cat named Burt Reynolds. He was a really big star when I was a kid. In that movie, this lady's roommate is shot in the eye through the keyhole. The bad guy's thinking it was her. Sucks to be that roommate. Same thing happens in this movie. Now Anna, a Russian stripper, has to pretend to be her cousin Natasha, a genius student, and assume her identity and pretend to be that genius transfer student as she hides out in England. Even though she dresses like a complete tramp, and I don't remember seeing her taking any classes. In Natasha for Maverick Entertainment. Before today's sermon, let's take a moment to welcome our visitor from overseas, Natasha Karapin. I borrow some of Christine's uniform until mine is ready. Now I look like proper English girl, no? The thing to remember is it's all in the wrists. Just grab hold of the stick and give it a jolly good thwack, eh? I'll remember that. This is Elaine. Elaine's an old acquaintance. We should do something soon. Maybe some shopping. She is, how are you saying? I think the word is bitch. Oh. <laughs> I um, had a craving for ice cream. You like so? I don't think she remembers me. The last time I saw her, she was... this big. My aunt. My little entrepreneur. You must be her. The stranger everyone's talking about. Russian? Good guess. You bring this little whore into our lives, and we're overreacting. The ultimate expression of love. We need to have a little chat here. It is about the little whore you have staying with you. You don't have guts, you little whore. But I do. The phrase that we are going to learn today, my young charges, is guilty pleasure. When applied to film watching, this term usually means that said movie is often trashy, inferior in many ways to most films, and is generally subpar in other film-like qualities, but yet you love it to death. And this is what we have with Natasha, my friends. Yes, it does feel like one of those movies that come on late night on Cinemax, and artistically speaking, some could argue that there are some issues with this film. But we were too blinded by the joyful cheesiness of it all to see any of those flaws. And unlike those Cinemax monstrosities, almost everybody in this movie could act, including the young lady who played Natasha. Do you try acting while being either dressed like a tramp all the time or just plain being completely naked? I bet you couldn't do it. I know I could, but I bet you couldn't do it. 